Hey guys, it's Leah here from Prestige Worldwide Medical Consulting. I wanted to talk today about describing to your provider, whether it's in the comp and pen exam or just your regular life um, at, at your civilian practitioner or your VA practitioner, describing to them um, how your disability has affected you and how your um, condition has affected you um, in regards to before and after the disability, right? Um, so, it can be from a professional standpoint, from a personal standpoint, um, how you interact with others, your family, your friends. How has that disability affected you um, in your life? Um, an example would be, you know, if it's PTSD, you know, maybe before you were able to go out, you were able to do things, um, you know, you didn't have any social anxieties or social phobias. Um, and maybe now when you go to a restaurant, you are sitting with your, um, you know, back to the wall so you can see the entrance. Maybe you don't like to go out in big groups. Maybe you get agitated more easily. Maybe you are having road rage incidents, right? Um, if it has, you know, if it's back pain, right? Maybe you used to be able to run all the time. Maybe you used to be able to do a lot of weightlifting. Maybe you used to play sports with your friends. Maybe those are some things that you just can't do anymore, right? Um, how has it affected your abilities to enjoy things that you used to like to do, right? Are you still um, able to go on dates with your spouse? Are you still able to go to sporting events with your, with your family and friends? Um, how has it affected your job performance? Um, are you missing a lot of work because you've got migraine headaches, right? Are you calling off sick a lot? Maybe um, keep a list of how many days of work you have missed, right? Um, how many have you been written up at work? Things like that. Um, did you used to have stellar performance um, at work? Did you used to, um, you know, some type of metric that can show, you know, in the in the military, at least in the army, we used to have OERs or NCOERs, right? Maybe you um, had really great remarks and then your performance started to really slip and then you got worse remarks. If there's anything like that that you can show from before and after um, that can that can kind of sh quantify or show how this disability possibly is affecting you. And it can be temporary or transient, right? So maybe you have a back pain, back pain episodes that happen, um, you know, a couple of times a year. Um, how did that affect you? Were you out of work for several weeks, right? Um, I know a lot of veterans will sometimes go out on um, social security disability, and they'll and they'll have some of those um, some paperwork for workers comp or for whatever. Those are some things that can also be helpful to illustrate what's been going on with you, right? If you've got some other kind of administrative um, documentation that's showing that this uh, this disability has affected you, right? Um, so it's really important for you to be as descriptive as possible. I think I talked about this in um, a previous video, being uncomfortably vulnerable and really talking about and describing what's bothering you, even if it makes you uncomfortable to do so. That way your practitioner can know exactly what's going on um, and, and how this has really affected your life, right? Um, I hope that was helpful um, and we'll talk to you guys soon, right? Thanks.